Oh, I see him. Dude, I got like seven below my boat. I can see him. Yeah, but I'm on. I dropped. My name's Robert Field, and I ditched the corporate grind to pursue my passions for fishing and travel. Come up. Nice. This time, I'm on a month-long expedition across Australia and New Zealand with the boys from Fish Village. Hooked up, hooked up, hooked up, hooked up. You're watching up. field trips down under. It's nice work, bro. Yeah. Look at this. Oh, yeah, last one we had under there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's cool. So we are currently three days into a week-long trip living 50 miles off the coast of Auckland on the Bounty Hunter, a commercial fishing boat captained by Skipper Aaron. We found some success finding snapper so far, but today we're making a long paddle to a remote underwater pinnacle in hopes of getting into some screaming yellowtail kingfish action. All right, so we just left uh, left the island behind. We're heading offshore now to a spot that Stephen Tapp and Paul here know about, that basically a big rise, a big pinnacle out deep, and they say these yellowtail kingfish love to hang out on it. Very consistent bite out there, so it's about a five kilometer paddle, so we're kind of just making our way out there, slow and steady, and uh, yeah, it should make for some good action, and a little something different than just uh, fishing these rocks for snapper. Yeah, see if we can get uh, into some big yellowtail from the kayak today, this afternoon, as soon as we get there. You guys know I, uh, I've spent most of my time pedaling with my feet the last uh, couple of years. So this has been an adjustment. And I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little bit sore from that shark yesterday. She got me. It should be worth it when we get out there. Beautiful water, could not ask for better conditions. Just some really light, kind of rolling uh, swell. Basically no wind, maybe a couple miles an hour. Beautiful out here, absolutely beautiful. All right, well we finally made it out here and uh, we rolled up, Grant and Steven were ahead of us and Grant was already hooked up. A little kingy, not a big guy, but uh, they're here. So we're gonna start fishing. All right, found another school in the depth finder. Steven said you see some good fish kind of in the middle of it. I'm not as uh, talented at reading these depth finders, but I am talented at, there we go, I'm on, at listening to good anglers. Oh no, yep, 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 yep. There we go. Oh. Ah, yeah, fish on. Second drop of the day. Oh no. Yeah, not a big one, but it is a fish. Ah. Be lying if I said I wasn't a little bit spent from that uh, shark yesterday. In hindsight, that probably wasn't a awesome strategy. As I work to get my paddling muscles back, Fighting a shark that's my size, probably not the most intelligent thing I've ever done, but you can tell it's not big, but they are strong for their size. Yep. Uh, best way to grab these guys is just grab the tail. Yeah. Nice. Man. They don't give up, huh? No. And even when they're on board. <laughs> yeah. I was just thinking that. I guess I can net it. There we go. Nice. Didn't take long at all. Now certainly no monster, but uh, yeah, second drop of the day. I'll take that all day. Man, they're fun fish. For their size, these fish are just bruisers. I mean, that's just a little guy. Felt a lot bigger than that. Tons and tons of fun though. So yellowtail kingfish. These are, uh, they call them yellowtail in California. Uh, basically the same fish, but they get much bigger here. That's just a little guy, but we're gonna, we're gonna work hard to try to upsize that. Too much fun. And he was ready to go. Had enough of me. Nice. Cool. That feels good. Well done. Just leaving plenty of room for improvement, you know. <laughs> you don't want to get the you don't want to get the big one right away. Got a big school below us. Fish finder is lit up. On the small, I think it's a snapper also. Which is surprising. I mean, I'm dropping a pretty big jig, 300 gram jig. Shows you how aggressive these fish are. What I got? 
pretty heavy rig here for a small snapper. I see it. Oh no, it's a kingy, just uh, just not a very big one. Well, look at that, three drops, two kings in the boat uh, momentarily. <laughs> not speak too soon. Oh no, he's got a second win. <laughs> There he is. Nope. 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 He said not yet. Strong for their size. I'm sitting here uh, talking, talking smack. Maybe some pushover, and he's trying to prove me wrong. That's dangerous. In this episode of How Not to Land a Kingfish. We're gonna boat flip him with a 300 gram jig hanging out of his mouth. Yeah, that's not a good way to land these fish. I've got a net and I probably should be using, but yeah, there's number two. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Yellowtail kingfish, ladies and gents, super strong. I mean, you saw that guy was working me. You see how little he is. They get uh, upwards of 80 pounds around here, which I can't really imagine. But hopefully we're gonna find out. This guy is going back into the blue. God, they're fast. Nice, two for three. I'll take that kind of start any day. Death finder is lit up. All right, Grant's hooked up again. Yeah, brother, that's good stuff. Yeah. Just like another yellow tail, not a big one. They're strong for their size. Non-stop action right now. Number three, numero tres. Hey, you on? Looks like a snapper. Oh, a snapper, huh? Nice. Most boaties associate them as being bottom fish, but when you're out there in a quiet kayak, yeah, then, uh, they're often midwater. Huh. Steven just got a snapper right next to me. <laughs> Two yellow tails right away. Just lost what I imagined was probably the biggest snapper I've hooked since I've been here. Uh, that thing came unbuttoned about halfway up. Now a few drops of the jig later. And I am on again. Yep, yellow tail. And I uh, got a couple falling, it looks like. This guy up. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and use the net this time. All right, all right, all right. Yeah. One after another, like that. They're all about that size so far though. Still looking for a bigger fish. That is a ton of fun. Really not been out here very long. And uh, yeah, it's just on fire. That was uh, not the most graceful release I've ever executed. Old fish flop Friday right there. They're a ton of fun, even at that size. And uh, I mean, they're here. We just gotta keep weeding through these smaller ones, see if we can't uh, get a big one on the line. Oh, I see him. Dude, I got like seven below my boat, I can see him. Yep, yeah, but I'm on. I dropped. <laughs> yeah, I got like nine follow it. <laughs> they all followed it, I dropped it back down, and as soon as I closed the bail, I was on. That was cool. Yeah, there's a bunch of them down there. That was really cool. And this is a better fish. I saw a couple, oh, oh, dude. Oh, dude. Oh, yeah, that's a fish. It's a different caliber than the ones I've been catching. Yeah. <laughs> no way. Now we're talking. Good lord. Wow, I just tightened the dragon. He's not slowing down. 
Look at that. Look at that, you guys. This is a fish, ladies and gents. Oh, that was so cool. Brought my jig up, I hooked up, and it came off like right away, and I looked down and saw about eight yellowtails circling beneath the boat. A couple of them looked pretty good. Dropped the jig down, and uh, sure enough, as soon as I closed the bale to start jigging it back up through them, I was already on. This is definitely a much more sizable fish than the ones I've been catching. He has made some smoke and runs, but now she's slowing down. So am I, I'm still recovering from that shark yesterday. Good Lord. Oh. She ain't done. She ain't done. Getting this New Zealand CrossFit workout going on here. Oh yeah. Now nah, that's a kingfish. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. <sighs> that was a battle. All right, now we're talking, ladies and gents. This is what we're out here for. That I think is my new personal best kingfish from a kayak. And on the vertical jig, artificial. Whew. That was a battle. I had about nine of them. Look at the belly on her, man. You fat. Oh, so much fun. What a blast. New Zealand CrossFit. <laughs> <She's> hard. <laughs> and that's just the warm-up kingy too. So like your next drop, it'll be on to something about 50 or 60 pound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that should be about the end of you. And then you can um, free ride Bixby on the way home. I might wait a few minutes for my next drop. Nah, you'll be right. You done playing with your food yet? Nope, nope. Oh, piece of cake. Yeah, you got it. Nice. Grant's gonna go do a little diving, a little exploring. See if he can maybe find some crayfish. Or at least see what else is down there. Can we get a yellowtail head we can drop down? On a rope? Sure. Yeah. Tie one to his weight belt. I'm going to find Marty's uh, GoPro that he That'd brought. be awesome. Grant found a ton of sea urchins in the cracks and crevices of the rocky reefs. He also found what I would call lobsters, but the locals call crayfish. But they were a bit more elusive. Eating some uni, fresh sea urchin. The grant here uh, harvested from the sea. And we're throwing the guts out after we eat it. And now we got a big stingray circle in the boat. So cool how much life we've seen just sitting here on the boat. There's a bunch of snapper down below the boat. Just dropped the GoPro down and they, they tried to eat it. Such a cool place. This is such a cool little bay, man. All kinds of stuff comes in here. Sitting here just tossed some uh, scraps off the side. So I decided to drop the jig. Kabura from Catch Fishing. Sure enough, he was in the water maybe eight seconds. Beautiful little snapper. Look at the colors on that guy. Really pretty fish, man. Look, oh, yeah, that. looks good. You wanna try it? Yeah, yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> little uni, sea urchin. Oh, you're right. That's actually fantastic. Mm -hmm. It's weird. It's can... like half my brain is like, no, I don't want to eat that, and the other half is like, I'm that was delicious. Sriracha. Yeah. Let me get a little, little gap. Nah, you gotta try. You gotta at least try a little taste without <laughs> sriracha. <sighs> try a little taste. Get the experience. Right. Call me, bitch. Don't be a little bitch. Do don't right. be a little bitch. He said it. He said it. I have to. You don't need to do the whole thing if you can't do the whole thing. Good. Yeah, it is good. It just tastes like the ocean. Actually? Yeah. I could. Oh, just went for Ooh. it. No? Nope. Little shell. Look. So there might not be enough light to capture this, but we'll try anyway. So I'm fishing the wash, which is generated by a funnel. 
in this case the current's coming towards us and we've got this little area here with this wash coming over and it's creating a funnel of current and so you see the current whipping through in various areas and what I'm doing at the moment is the snapper will be sitting up in here uh, just waiting for food to come to them so I'm casting up and uh, for this occasion I'm putting it in the rod holder and taking a couple of strikes just to hold the current let the jig sink a little bit oh there we go that's what we want so all this wash which is coming towards us the snapper is just sitting back here in the wash so all I'm doing is throwing forward letting it sink and generating a slight problem for myself when I hook a fish oops <laughs> but the area that he's sitting in is quite an exciting place to fish what are you? oh look at that of course everything sits in that current for a free feed including little rat kingfish little barrel of a fish look at that see you later buddy look at this Grant just came back with some dinner oh dude great fish another great fish they're coming in they're slinging in the boat Grant from Viking Kayaks just uh, brought enough to feed the whole village we in business now yeah. Nice work, man. That was a good session. Nice work. That was a good session. Look at that. Wow. Look at that. That's five. Uh, plus the big one, six. Two. That's seven. Yeah. Well, seven? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I just need one of them. What? I, no. Nah, you, you're banging Oh, we got dinner now, boys? Well done, bro. Oh, yeah. That's bro. some fish. That's what's up. That's some fish. Just pan searing that guy. We got some fried snapper, which I don't know what's in this batter but it is life-changing he says it's really simple yet he didn't tell us what it was it's better yeah yeah better. see you know guys like ah, oh, no nah, it's nothing special but i'm not going to tell you what it is you know it's a good recipe hey what, what are you savage get a fork what's wrong with you what's wrong with you mm. kids don't learn your manners from this guy that's mm. good right did you get some oh Oh yeah. So good. Oh god, dude, what the hell is in that? <laughs> what is in that? Really, I've never met a snapper I didn't like, but this one is delightful. I need to know what's in that. Yeah. Yep. It's probably like salt, pepper, and flour based on the rest of his recipes. But <laughs> something about the flour down under. This is so good. Oh. <laughs> Classic. Nom, nom. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that was the creepiest bite of food that's ever hit a field trip's <laughs> kitchen cook right there. <laughs> no, that was money. That's the thumbnail. Coming up next, we're leaving the cove at Arid Island and heading offshore to do some deep water fishing. Oh! The bite is on fire, but it's the wildlife encounters that have us all appreciating the wildness of this place. We got a small mako that's uh, taking it down right now. <laughs> 